Hi everyone, thank you for joining us and welcome to our session. Today we're going to learn about how Televisa Univision is using Analytics Hub to securely exchange and share data. My name is Nikhil Gaikwad. I lead product management for Analytics Hub in Google Cloud. Joining me today is Kelly Sitarsky, uh, Director of Data and Content Partnerships at Google. And also, we have a special guest speaker today, Sandro Pugliese from Televisa Univision, who is the VP of Data Engineering. Before we hear from Kelly and Sandro, I want to take a step back and talk about the world of data sharing. Now more than ever, customers are telling us that shared data is critical for all lines of business. Organizations are leveraging data from partners, suppliers, and competitors to drive innovation and uncover new insights. It's becoming more and more important for companies to not only produce, but also consume data from third-party sources. That said, we also hear from customers that data sharing is not easy. Many of them are still hamstrung by traditional methods of data sharing, it comes with a number of challenges. Number one, traditional data sharing techniques require batch data pipelines that extract data from databases, store it in flat files, transfer them to customers, where they're then ingested into another database. Not only are these pipelines expensive to run, all the changes that's required to the source data can cause them to break. Sharing of flat files also results in multiple copies of that data, which in turn results in unnecessary costs, especially when you have multi-petabyte data sets as we do today. The time that's required for batch pipelines also means that the data is already stale by the time it reaches the customer. Again, this is not going to help businesses make timely decisions that's required today. Lastly, traditional data sharing techniques also bypass data governance processes. So as a data provider, you'd want to know who's using your data, how is it being used, and all of that is lost in the mix with traditional ways of sharing data. What happens at the end? There's no doubt that these challenges makes it difficult for organizations to realize the true potential of data assets and how they can be used to solve their business challenges. To overcome these limitations and make it easier for data sharing, we introduced at Google Cloud Analytics Hub. Analytics Hub is a new service that helps organizations share data and insights at scale in a privacy-safe and secure way. With Analytics Hub, you can create a rich data ecosystem that allows you to publish and subscribe to data assets that are analytics ready. Because the data is shared in place, data providers are able to control and monitor how that data is being used. More importantly, Analytics Hub provides data customers a self-service way to discover and access valuable and trusted data assets. And this includes data that's provided by Google. Finally, Analytics Hub provides an opportunity for organizations to monetize their data assets. Our goal is to enable data providers to offer their data to customers in an efficient way and manage the entire data delivery process. Here's how Analytics Hub works behind the scenes. Starting on the left, as a data publisher, you bring your data into BigQuery and you create what we call shared data sets, which contain the tables and views you want to share. Then you publish these data sets into an exchange with additional information about the data, such as documentation, sample queries, et cetera. And these become your data set listings. Exchanges can either be private or public, depending on your use case. And finally, on the right, as a data subscriber, you come into BigQuery and Analytics Hub, you search through all the listings across the exchanges that you have view or subscribe access to, and then you subscribe to the data set that you're interested in. This then creates a linked data set in your project that can either be queried or joined with other data. Super intuitive and easy. With that, I want to take this moment to make a very special announcement. Today, we are officially announcing the general availability of Analytics Hub. We've come a long way since we announced this product last year, and I want to thank all of you for your support and feedback throughout the way. And here's what's new with the release. First, the product now supports over 30 different regions and multi-regions in BigQuery. This enables data publishers to deliver shared data sets to the regions that's requested by their subscribers. 
Number two, data publishers can now view and manage subscribers for all their shared data in Analytics Hub. If necessary, they can also revoke access to subscriptions at any time. Number three, to govern shared data, administrators can now have access to tools such as audit logging, information schema, to, to track some job statistics about the usage of the product within the organization. Last but not least, we've also made improvements in our search and discovery experience that make it easy for subscribers to filter, sort, and find relevant data. All right, now that we've learned a lot about the product and its capabilities, let's hear from one of our early adopters of Analytics Hub and learn about how they've overcome their data sharing challenges with this ecosystem. Kelly, over to you. Thank you, Nikhil. So we're joined today by Sandro, who is the Vice President of Data and Engineering at Televisa Univision. So we know Televisa Univision as this powerhouse in the industry across broadcasting, different types of media. I'd like to hear from you about your journey there and, and what brought you to Televisa Univision. Absolutely, and first off, thanks for having me. Uh, so I think before I talk about Televisa Univision, I'd like to talk about the community it serves. So. Uh, the Hispanic community in the United States is about 60 million people. Um, that's about 20% of the U.S. population. Uh, the Hispanic community is projected to represent about 50% of the population growth in the United States going forward, which is huge. Uh, and then globally, there are about 600 million people who speak Spanish. Um, that's a huge, huge community. And I think I was shocked when I dug in as part of my onboarding process here to find out how underserved they actually are. So to me, the opportunity was to come into an organization and actually help drive change for an underserved community. That, that was important to me. Um, Televisa Univision itself has undergone transformation uh, with new ownership and new leadership over the last couple of years. I was brought in. Uh, to lead the, uh, the data engineering efforts as part of that transformation because we all know that data is always in the mix and always critical uh, to actually help organizations meet their new aggressive goals. So that, that's how I landed here. Um, thinking about data strategy, you know, you come into a new organization and you know, you have to get the lay of the land. What exists? Well, Univision is a legacy broadcast company that has been transforming to uh, digital. Uh, we've launched uh, VIX and VIX Plus, which is a, a free and subscription-based um, uh, app and service with a tremendous amount of original Spanish-first content. Uh, so thinking about how can I serve the new needs, right? We have AI, ML, data science teams coming up with models. We have uh, marketing teams, uh, finance teams, BI teams. Each of those stakeholder groups have different needs on when and how they want to access data. So my first goal was, well, the existing systems were not up to the challenge. So we took it upon ourselves to develop a new platform. And when you do that, then you need to start thinking about aggregating your data sources and aggregating and migrating your data consumers. Um, and I, I was thinking about which one I wanted to pursue first, and leadership always cares about driving value. That's really what it comes down to. Then it's you know, reducing costs. We all know that. So how could I migrate the consumers and drive value faster? So that's where Analytics Hub first presented itself to me as an option on how can I migrate data and more importantly migrate consumers to a new platform that provides all of the, the benefits that, that we're looking for. So. so that's a great segue to what we're here to talk about, which is Analytics Hub. Yep. So can you share a little bit about how you're leveraging Analytics Hub today? Yep. What are some of the use cases? There's two use cases. Uh, the first one uh, I want to talk about is a, a data migration. So when I think about a new service or product, uh, you know, I don't jump into the deep end right away, right? So for the purposes of this, I think about it as, honestly, it's, it's like an aperture, right? I start the aperture small, and then I widen it as 
my confidence in it, the team's confidence in it, leadership's confidence in it all grow. So the first use case was data migration. So in, in a standard pattern, you can see in this very, very high level uh, diagram I put together, uh, in a standard pattern, you would need to actually bring in the data to your new platform. Then you'd need to reconcile it with the existing systems and get buy-in from the stakeholders. Then you would need to migrate your consumers. And then eventually, you'd realize value. I mean, on, you know, when you're talking about 20, 30, 50 uh, data ingestions and you know, tens or hundreds of consumers, that could be you know, a six to 18 month process, right? I don't know any businesses that want to wait 18 months to realize value. So when you look at the bottom portion of this screen, it kind of flips the narrative, right? So uh, what we did is we identified key data sets that existed in existing systems, uh, and we configured uh, a, you know, the, a, an analytic subshare to our new platform. And I think it took all of about five minutes per data set then all of a sudden they were available in the new platform and we could immediately start migrating consumers, uh, which means that we get to value realization earlier and then all of that heavy lifting, which usually is uh, predecessor work, now becomes debt that we need to remediate on our own timeline and our own budget while the business is already driving value. So like from my perspective, that was huge uh, and it, it easily bought me six months uh, on my timeline, so, and saves costs, so. That's great. So, win and win. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, looking forward, we just heard from Nikhil some of the new features that are going to be available in Analytics Hub. What's next? Where do you go from here on your journey? So, uh, before we get to that, I'd love to talk about the second use case. Um, as I talked about the aperture, I started narrow, and as we started developing confidence and trust that you know the product actually did what it said it did, no offense to you, um, you know pre-GA products give us all a little bit of you know the jitters in prod. Uh, we I had a second use case where now all of a sudden I had vendors, and they were within our GCP ecosystem, but they had their own uh, siloed projects. So they were managed, they were separated, but they were still controlled by, by our uh, cloud ops team. Um, they had a need for a specific data set. It's a decent sized data set uh, coming in on a daily basis and they all needed the exact same data set. So in, you know, in a traditional pattern, you would potentially do views, which didn't work for us for a variety of reasons, or you would actually ship them the data, which means all of a sudden I 5x the processing and 5x the storage. So again, here, Analytics Hub presented itself. We configured the shares, and the, that data set now became available to all five vendors uh, within minutes. And again, we maintain control, and we're not propagating and duplicating data. So again, cost savings. We're not having to maintain five additional pipelines, which you know are subject to, you know, breaks and prod and things like that. So, again, that was a huge win uh, to be able to enable these vendors, which are a critical part of one of our primary stakeholders' initiatives. So, again, a win. That's great. That's exactly yeah. what we want to hear. So, let me ask you then, as you look forward on your journey, what's next? Where do you go from analytics? Where do you go with analytics hub from here? Absolutely. So, you know, not to beat the, the dead horse, but widen the aperture further, right? We started with just our own internal data, then it was internal plus with vendors, but still in our ecosystem. The next step to me are external data exchanges. So third party partners, uh, vendors, uh, you name it, and that's both ingestions and exports, right? Um, third party exchanges are my nightmare. Uh, they are the single source of, or single biggest source of prod support breaks. Uh, they are my single biggest cost in managing. Uh, they are also the, my single biggest source of delays. So anything that I can do to uh, kill file-based data transfers uh, is my dream. Um, and thinking about you know, all of my ingestions, how great would it be to just 
basically subscribe to data sets that then become available and my consumers can start right away. No, I mean, we're not talking sprints or, or months, we're talking hours, right? Once the, the, the paper is signed and the deal is, is consummated, then the data becomes available and it's real time and it's live and it shouldn't break, right? So that's, that's my hope. That would, be, that would be widening the aperture, right? That's great, and that is a perfect segue to the next topic we're gonna cover. But before I jump to it, I wanna thank you, Sandro, so much for sharing your story. It was my pleasure. Happy to be here, and good luck, everybody. So we heard about the power of data sharing. Now let's switch gears and talk about the different data types that are available in Analytics Hub, because that's where a lot of the power lies, the rich data ecosystem and combining different data sets to drive unique insights. We have public data sets for climate, cryptocurrency, healthcare, and transportation, as well as data that only Google can provide, like Google search trends. From an industry perspective, we're working with our industry teams to enable customers to do things like benchmarking against standardized industry metrics so you can see where you stack up in your industry. For internal sharing, we've seen a lot of momentum around customers building their own internal exchanges. We know that data sharing can be challenging for larger organizations. So if your marketing team wants to share with your finance or your data science teams, Analytics Hub can really help. The last two categories, private and commercial exchanges, are ones I want to spend a little bit of time on. First is private exchanges. Private exchanges or B2B exchanges, this is where data is shared between companies. So like a retailer with a distributor or a media company with a brand. We have customers and partners doing this at scale today. For example, NGIS, a global leading provider of geospatial and sustainability solutions, is using Analytics Hub to provide first mile sustainable sourcing data sets for its customers. These data sets deliver traceability and transparency in global supply chains to sustainably sourcing new materials, helping customers monitor their suppliers' deforestation and contributing to global net zero initiatives. We're also working with SoundCommerce, a retail data and analytics platform that offers a unique way of connecting marketing, merchandising, and operations data all within a retail context. They're using the Analytics Hub to make it easy to land and maintain complex data sets so brands and retailers can drive profitable shopper experiences with every decision. So within our catalog, we have hundreds of public high value data sets as well as commercial data sets. These are the ones that require a license from a third party data provider. We have data sets available in our catalog today for you to subscribe to from across industries and across use cases from leaders like Dun & Bradstreet and Faxet. And we will continue to build out this catalog with our partners. These data sets are critical to our customers to execute high, highly process intensive analytics workloads for trading and risk calculations. So to close this out, I want to thank you all for your time. I want to encourage you to check out Analytics Hub today.